Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another Minecraft Would You Rather video. Now, on the first one, I asked for 200 likes, and if we got 200 likes, then I would know you guys wanted more, and I would give you more. And we got, like, friggin' over 300 likes, so, uh, you guys want more, and I'ma give you more. So last episode, we did level one, of course, and we got this little thing, this little bit of red wool, which turns out to be a monument, so I think we pop it right there. Ow! Sparkled. All right, we got five more levels to do. All right, so that was level one. I'm guessing this orange was level two. So let's get a big run up. I kind of don't really remember how to use these wings. Oh, I think I'm doing it. Oh, no. oh, that was weird, but I'm doing it. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. Almost overshot the landing, but I stuck it. I stuck it. All righty. Ooh, this is dark. It's a spooky theme. So if you don't know what Would You Rather is, um, well, go watch my other video. Uh, I, I tell you in that. I'll, I'll leave a link. Leave a link down below. So there's no need to explain here, so I'm going to just jump straight into the 10 questions. Last time we got nine right and one wrong, so we, we basically won. If we can get all 10 right this time, it would be really awesome. All right, here we go. What would we Okay. What we got? What we got? Obtain the power to fly. Obtain the power to become invisible. Ooh. Ooh. That has always been one of my weaknesses. I've always wanted to be invisible. I already am to the ladies. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> oh, I'm alone. Now, I think even though the power to fly, like, it seems like a good power, but is it? I mean, do you know how cold it gets in the sky? And, and there's, like, birds up there and there's planes. Okay, say you can fly at, like... 50 miles an hour, okay? That's a good speed. Do you know how cold your face is gonna get when you're like 100 feet up and flying 50 miles? You are gonna get chilly. No amount of hats or scarves or gloves are ever gonna fix that. So as cool as it would be, do you really wanna have to wrap up every time you just wanna go to the shops, you know? But invisibility, that's got some real uses. That's got some potential. I mean, thieving. That's got to be easy now. Not that I, of course, promote thievery. But, you know, say I want, I don't know, let's say a MacBook. And I see a MacBook and I have the ability to get that MacBook without anybody seeing me. Would I do it? No. Of course I wouldn't. But you get where I'm coming from. So personally, I think just for the pure day-to-day -day practicality of invisibility, I would choose that. But I think most people would probably choose fly because it's like the whole generic... Like, it's just the go-to superpower. Like, hey, what do you want to have? Oh, I want to fly. Like, nah, nah. Now nah, you don't. So it's got to be this, right? What? <sighs> All right, so I got it wrong. It was pretty close, though. I just realized that the percentages of, like, what chose what are right here. So it was pretty close. I mean, there was only, like, 5% in it. I'm shocked, though. I'm shocked that, uh, like, a lot of people would prefer invisibility, I guess. I guess people aren't as dumb as I thought they were. All right, not a great start. Oh, this isn't a good one, is it? Poop bricks or poop... Oh, jeez. How? How do you choose that? Okay, instantly, I'm drawn to nails. I don't know why. They just seem like, yeah, they're gonna hurt, but they're gonna hurt less. I mean, you know how big a brick is? I don't want to get graphic here, but your butthole is not as big as a brick. It is, however as big as a nail. So as long as you get the sort of angle right, you gotta get the nail going straight down. You don't want it coming at you sideways or anything like that. That's gonna create some tearage. Yeah, there is no way in hell I'm squeezing a brick out of my butt. All right, we're doing nails. And I nailed it. Get it? <laughs> nailed it. Oh, I make myself laugh. That's shockingly split as well. What the heck? That's the same percentage as last time. Are they all the same percentage? It's a very split audience. All right, we can still bring it back. We can still bring it back. Have your internet shut down for one day per week? That didn't sound too bad. Have your internet shut down one month per year? Ooh, that's a good one, actually. That's a clever one, you see, because, like, offhandedly, you might think that one day a week would be better. But really, if you add up, I mean, there's 52 weeks in a year which means you're getting 52 days without internet a year. But here, you're getting, what, 31? So 31 maximum days without internet or 52. But, ah, here's the catch, but having uh, an entire month stretch without internet is probably worse than having just one day a week. Like, for one day a week, I can just leave the house for that one day. You know, I can go to a friend's house, go to the movie, go get some food. You know, there's plenty of things you can fill one day with. But to try and fill an entire month? Uh-uh. Not doing that. I'm go okay, but wait, wait a second. But I gotta think what would what would the people think? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna learn from my past mistakes. I'm gonna have faith in the people that they chose the more sort of logical answer. 
Yes! Oh, see, look. Look how smart these people are. This is a dumb 23%, but this 77, baby. I love that 77%. All right, we can definitely bring this back. Now, we're on a roll. We're on a roll. Have a pet that talks but dies in... Oh, oh, no. Have a normal pet that dies in 15 years. Oh. These guys got some good questions. An animal that talks. I mean, how'd you beat that? How do you beat a dog that talks to you? I mean, I've seen up. I know how adorable that can be. Also, if you have a dog that, that talks but dies in five years, like, it could have puppies. Maybe get a big old litter of talking puppies. That'd be even better. I'd prefer a talking puppy. And then when that grows up and dies, you just get some more puppies out of it. Also, I could already have. Like, that is already a thing I could have. Like, that is a real-world thing that I could have. I'm sure there is plenty of animals that live for 15 years. So, I mean, just for the sheer amazement of it, you gotta go with this one, right? What? How stupid are these people? Do you not know what puppies are? I'm shocked. <gasps> oh, it was quite a landslide as well. What? I am shocked. Really? You? Nobody wants a talking dog. All right, what's next? Have infinite time or have infinite money? Okay, here we go again. What does infinite time mean? Does that mean I never die? Am I immortal? Does that mean I have infinite time? Like, I have infinite life? Like, and how does that work? Can I get shot? Do I die if I get shot? Can I die of illnesses? Is this an immortal thing? Or is this literally like, I can, I don't know, do, can I stop time? And then that's why I have infinite time? I don't, you need to be more specific. I know there's only like four lines on a, on a sign, but like, elaborate a little bit. So let's say best case scenario means you just live forever. Or have infinite money. Hmm. That's a tough one, because obviously living forever is something we think we all want. I mean, do we though? Do we really? Ooh, this is tricky. I don't know. I don't, I really don't know what the, what people would choose. Because people love money, but people also don't love dying. I'm split. Honestly, I don't even know which one I would choose. I, that is a tough one. Oh, you know what's cool though? If you have infinite time, that means you can just put all your time into sort of like, I don't know, doing what, pursuing whatever you want to do. Which means like, I don't know, if you want to be a movie star, you could just put all the time and effort into becoming a movie star. And then you'd be rich anyway. Or if some of you guys wanted to be a YouTuber, you could just put all your time and effort into being a YouTuber. And then you'd have your dream job. And you'd be freaking immortal. But I think that's just my way of thinking about it. I don't think the public would say that. I'm going to go with money. Oh, what is it with 55 and 45? It's the same freaking percentages all the time. All right, only three fails so far. Three fails in like two levels. That ain't bad. Have chocolate flavored poo. Have poo flavored. I not see that coming. Have poo flavored chocolate. Okay, let me think. What is it? Have chocolate flavored poo. So your poo tastes like chocolate. Or have poo flavored chocolate. Okay, who is picking this one? Who is this? Who is this for? Now, the important word is have. Not eat. Maybe they meant to put eat. But just because, like, you don't have to eat that poo, and you don't have to eat that chocolate. So, if you had this option, your life literally wouldn't change one bit. You would go to the toilet, you'd do your pooping, you'd maybe get a nice scent of chocolate whilst doing it. It's really a win-win. Don't mean you gotta eat it. So, yeah. I mean, who? What? Who are these 30%? Who, who are these 30% of people that chose they would want a bar of chocolate taste like poo? Wh who are these people? Okay, if you're gonna make a survey, make it with, like, sound-minded people. Don't go to a mental asylum where people want to eat poop-flavored chocolate, okay? Who are, you, who are you surveying for this? Jesus. L liver Shrek. Liver's donkey. <laughs> well, I mean, there's there's pros and cons to both of their lives. You know, donkey is the more happy one, it looks like. You know, he's always laughing and joking. He's just happy. He's just happy to be alive, you know? He's happy to be there. Shrek is a little bit of a grump, but, you know, he's an ogre. That's that's his thing. Also, Shrek got a girlfriend and, like, a babies and, like, a family. He's got, like, a good life, you know? He's got, like, just a, a, a cool, just normal life. But donkey, donkey ain't got nothing. All he got is Shrek. So I would rather be Shrek and have donkey than be Donkey and have Shrek, if that makes sense. But donkeys are a lot cuter. Now, nah, we're going with Shrek. What? Who wants to live as a donkey? Who are these people? Okay, am I just like an idiot, okay? Do, do any of you guys agree with my logic for all these things? Or am I just like, complete? am I just talking complete nonsense here? I mean, come on. Travel to the moon, travel to the deep sea. You know, it's weird, right? You know what's weird? More people have been to the moon than have been to the bottom of the sea. How weird's that? Like, the deepest parts of the ocean? Like, no one's been there. We don't know what's down there. We don't know. Think about that. We don't know 
what is it the deepest parts of the ocean? How sort of like weird and kind of terrifying is that? Like for all we know, there could be like dinosaurs down there, like weird tank-like. I mean, they got to be tanky, like have some kind of shell. I mean, the amount of pressure that's down there. I mean, that's why we can't go down there because we haven't built anything that can withstand the pressure, I don't think. So how crazy is that? There could be loads of animals down there, like these big ass Godzilla things living down at the bottom of the ocean in pitch black their whole lives. Like that's terrifying. We're on the moon. Moon's just a rock. It would probably be more exciting to go to the bottom of the sea. Also, like if something goes wrong, you probably have a better chance of surviving. Like if you're on earth, like I don't think your odds are good at surviving either one if something goes wrong. But I mean, I would probably rather be in the ocean than uh, in space because in space, like you got nothing. Like, that's it. You dead. Like, if your spaceship's gone, like, you're never gonna, like, see a passerby spaceship that you can wave down and ask for help. Like, there's never gonna be someone just strolling around the moon. But you might come across, like, a boat or something that could rescue you. But, I mean, like, I guess more people would prefer to go to space, I guess? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. All right, what are we on now? Number nine? Ooh, second to last one. Okay, have the eyes of a hawk, human eyes times eight. What? What? Like, I'm pretty sure I can see everything. But they can see it eight times better. Like, what What are we missing? Have the hearing of a wax moth. Ooh, uh, human ears times a hundred and f- What? How do they sleep at night? I can't sleep at night with my ears. Maybe wax moths means like earwax. And they use their earwax to clog up their ears because they're just like hearing sounds all the time. Probably not, but it's a thought. That's- <sighs> Hmm. Well, I mean, I can see the- I can definitely see the appeal of having better eyesight. There's plenty of people out there that would love better eyesight, you know? But I guess a lot- a lot of people would prefer better hearing. But I think if I had to live without one, I would probably live without hearing, I think? So I think I would probably prefer better eyes, I think. Yeah, I'm going- I, I think everybody else would agree. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quite a lot of people agree. Don't get me wrong, I'd love some, like, good hearing, but I think that would really just be more of a hindrance. Like, we don't need that. Like, maybe maybe those moths need that hearing for, like, survival and hunting. I don't know. Do moths hunt? What would moths hunt? There's no moth taking down a rabbit. But you know what? I, you get what I'm saying. All right. Is this it? Number 10? What is what is that? That is not a number. Is that supposed to be 10? Become famous as an actor. Become famous as a musician. Ooh. All right. Well, first off, I instantly go to actor. If I had to be one of the two, I would 100% be an actor. It just seems like a better fit for me. But, you know, kids and their music these days, they love that dream. Drake and Rihanna and all that stuff. Maybe people want to be musicians these days. I don't know. I've always found acting like more impressive than uh, like musicians. I don't know. It just seems like uh, like musicians, like don't get me wrong, incredibly talented people, musicians. I couldn't do what they do. I don't know how to play an instrument. I don't know how to sing. Listen to this voice. You think this voice would sound nice singing? No, it doesn't. I've had complaints. I don't know. Just acting seems more impressive to me. It, like if you're a really good actor, it just seems like it's more impressive than being a good musician. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. Go with. Oh, I was right. Nice. Okay, pretty tied. Pretty tied. Not not too far, not too far distance between them. All right, we we freaking did it. All right, what's this say? That says complete level. We gotta take this thing first though. We gotta take the little bit of level two. Get back there. Where is it? There we go. And sparkles. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this second episode of Would You Rather. If you did and you want to see more, let's smack that like button, guys. Again, if we can get 200 likes, I will be sure to do the third episode of this and the third level. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, like I said, please smack the like button, drop a comment down below, favorite, share, all that awesome stuff you guys always do. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Would You Rather. <laughs>